What have you just agreed What have you done? Just took some drugs. You say, you idiot. <laughs> but in the morning, you are tasked with starting this custodian smuggling, planting, oh, framing no. business. Oh, we're putting all the shit into our hotspots. Yeah. Genius, I like it. Oh, hey, welcome to Australia. We don't know specifically where we're going to be smuggling stuff. We're trying to figure that out. Okay. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, you'll go invisible. Then I'll throw you over the valve wire and hopefully you make it. We need you to scout. We want to know the layout of this place and we want to know if you can see anywhere where they store their smuggled items. Um, Gold, weapons, drugs, uh, it, magical steel, items. Magical items. Uh, Aaron Gal Steel. Oh man, this, I, can it, I should have written it down. What else was what, there? Can we just we make ask? it three places? Don't make it. <laughs> There's not necessarily that many places. We just need to know where those things are. Yeah. They could all be in one place. Okay. Drugs, <laughs> weapons, mm. potion, elven wine, whiskey, and oh, spices, yeah. Yeah. Wine, stealing whiskey, spices, jewelry, and gold. Jewelry, gold. But the jewelry and gold, yeah. you're assuming, will possibly be in the center? What? Bob, he needs to pop back three. <laughs> take it out. Pop back three. Take it out. <laughs> take it out. <laughs> That's my horse pop. And then, yeah. and then yeah. much yeah. like we learned, I go. Oh, yeah. And it pops yeah. up. Yeah. 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 No Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> no Heimlich maneuver. All right. Um, so he goes inside with those. Yeah, but I say, and, I, and you're not to attack anything. There it is. You're not to kill <laughs> so anything. Like, have... You just, you're just scouting. All right. And okay. if you come back, I've got this head of a mice, head of a mouse you can eat. Very good. And I have I have a quill and ink, and Bob is you're going to describe to me as he's doing this what the hell's going on. I'm drawing. Is that a, a, a building bit? Um, <laughs> I was going to say this, corner, this is a serious game of telephone. <laughs> and um, it's like. Um, <laughs> I can imagine this sketch is just like a square with like two <laughs> lines on it, and he's like, I don't, You're like, I, don't know. I don't know what you want. Some dogs, do you I want think. It's kind of like there's that thing guy. where you try and like draw on someone's back, and they try and draw. Yeah, draw, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, so, um, what do you want to draw? Then? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> and then it'd be like that uh, Pictionary game where you're blind, yeah, yeah, blind drawing. Yeah, yeah he's exactly. Looking at something else while he's drawing it. All right, uh, the premise, blah, blah, blah. We've gone over that bit. The warehouse, all right. So the first thing you see is it, um, he walks straight past the guard. Guard's just like reading a book or something. Does <laughs> 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 I'm a ragtime gal. <laughs> Doing his tap dancing. He, he gets in there, easy peasy. Um, it's uh, mostly just stonework floor so that they can like have wagons coming in and out as needed. Yeah. Um, no dirt or mud around. The, he heads straight to the biggest building, the warehouse. You can see that there's one uh, one large front door and uh, a smaller door on either side of it. It's about 30 feet, uh, sorry, two doors on either side of it. It's about 30 feet tall. Uh, I've lost my place. It's about 30 feet tall, about 60 feet wide, and about 150 feet long. So it's quite a long building. Is it possible for him to get in it? Mostly looking, mostly looking like it's made of wood. Uh, as he gets closer, he can hear the sounds of um, people talking towards the back end of the building between the, the two rear doors. Uh, but no, no sounds coming from the front half of the building. What do you want to do? Send him what do you want to make him do? Because uh, you can take control of him, I think, or you can tell. I, I can telepath exactly. him. Uh, you telepath him and Probably give him commands as you're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I say, uh, is there a way for you to get inside? Are you able to get inside? The doors are currently all closed. Um, he hasn't tried them to see if they're open. What, but what's going on? What's going on, Bob? <laughs> you can knock on the door. Straight up, that's what I was going to say. Knock on the door. Um, well, what, what about windows? Can you climb up to look inside no, the window? No, genuinely, I think no, knock no on the door. Because yeah. if somebody comes and opens it and knock a door right. Yeah, yeah all right, fuck it. Knock on the door. Window. All right. Which, the the window 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 first. Okay, right. The big main well, door go, go, go or go one of the four the sides? Were. Yeah, go, go around to one of the side doors. He goes down towards the left side door and he <laughs> scratches on the door. Um, it doesn't take long before the door opens and uh, what's it can scram scramble in invisible. Yeah. Um, I'll have you roll a stealth check for what's it. He has advantage, and then we'll use what's it's stats. Is that a sixteen? Ten, I think. <laughs> you need to get more readable dice. Eighteen. Eighteen, 18 plus uh, stuff is plenty three, enough to beat their yeah. passive perception. Um, uh, and it's invisible. Yeah. I mean, can't exactly. Know. It's just he is making sound on the ground. No. He's, he's, he's invisible, Rob. Singing. And dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Even his sound is invisible. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, sound is usually invisible. <laughs> you, he, he heads into this. Uh, it's super invisible. Now. He heads into this room and sees a bar. 
It is a convert. It's sort of a, a back room of this warehouse that's been converted into a sort of tavern, as it were. Uh, he walks in to see. Oh, we're gonna have a fight. Yes. <laughs> It's just, it's just Watson in the fight. He walks in, he walks in through these doors, yeah. walks in through these doors, up some stairs. Off to his left, he can see that there's a little bit of a, um, a raised area, kind of like a, there's a bit of an apron and a, um, a, a narrow stage. Mm -hmm. Bunch of tables around, bar off to his right, and some seating, uh, seating tables off, over to the, uh, the far corner. This, uh, this door would lead through to the rest of the long warehouse bit, and this is the one opposite. This is the back. Oh, how many people are in there? Uh, what's it looks around? <laughs> no one it? looking what's through it? his eyes. <laughs> yeah, <totally>. twelve. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, there are twelve know. people in here. <laughs> Hope I've brought enough minis. Twelve um, heavily armed. <laughs> <laughs> All look about level twenty. <laughs> All about level twenty. Yeah. Giant cyborg mages. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it enters the tavern? It's mostly empty except, except for like fifty guards, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Nailed There's 50 it. guards in there. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, they're not too... And the 50 guards have laser beams. Yes. All of them have laser guns. Yeah. They've got yeah, laser they've guns. They've got laser guns. Uh, and then there's giant demon lords that, like, that are like, they're spewing out demon juice. Uh, like demon, demon juice. Demon yeah, yeah, smoke demon juice. Smoke. Sure. Smoke juice. Yep. Uh, yeah. And other things that, you know, that really would negatively affect us. Yes. 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 Yeah. Negative oh, things. Good Negative affecting right. things. I'll take yeah. it. Uh, no, he just sees like three people in there at the moment. Yeah, um, one guy's standing behind the bar, another one's st uh, sitting at the bar talking, and the guy who op opened the door. Cool. All young men, all elven, um, all all criminally kind of looking dudes, rough, rough, housey kind of all dudes. Going. <laughs> they're all going. Got, <laughs> they've all got eye patches and scars. Every um, one of them. I reckon continue them on. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Would this might be the place to put the alcohol and the herbs? Potentially not. Let's keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Heads, uh, sto little scrabbly stone uh, feet across the stonework. Thankfully, they're making enough noise amongst themselves that they're, it doesn't get heard with that stealth check. Uh, heads through this door and into a. I feel like warehouse. we need to put the stuff where people aren't, right? Because if you put them here yeah, where people yeah. are, they'd just be like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, and they yeah, would yeah. see yeah. us. And they'd see us. Yeah, 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 that's the main thing. Is seeing, but what I'm just, us I mean, we could. Oh make, yeah, what's it can't do that? Well, we we could like, make uh, them move on. He's just scouting at this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, you see the entirety of the building now. In this building, uh, he sees this is quite clearly the warehouse. Says, smuggled weapons here. Smuggled weapons smuggled go here, gold smuggled here. gold goes over here. Man, and they're so good at organisation. <laughs> Thank you, custodians. All right, uh, he, there's a lot to see in this room, so have, a, have him make an investigation check. Uh, actually, we'll make it your perception check. Sweet. Which is really good. That was, that was wasn't for the other one. one. That was for the other one. So Definitely. So what's it gets an investigation of Nat one, but, but you, that's what's it, so looking through his eyes, Get a perception of 15 plus, uh, 15 plus stuff. All right. Perception of plus 10, so 25. Okay. Jesus, you have to live with that. Yeah. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's a plus yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob. I've got inside and perception plus 10 and sleight of hand and stealth plus 11. Shut Fuck up. Off. Shut up. <laughs> It's too high. Yeah, yeah. Rogues are Bob's meant to be. Rogues are meant to be really good at the things we're, they're good we're at. We're just okay. not used to him being. Yeah. <laughs> not good. used to him doing it because yeah. of he, you, you might not realise he has a plus eleven because he usually gets around the mid teens with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he usually gets twelve. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, exactly. yeah, I got a fourteen. Yay. <laughs> um, all right, that is this one. That's the wrong house. <clears throat> Here we go. So you see around the place. <laughs> so because what's it got a natural one? He just walks up and faces a wall. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> and he's like, Okay. And you, with your, <laughs> with your 25, you can see a hell of a lot of detail. Blind, it's, like a, it's a slightly moist, and I can just see in the reflection. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> and I can see everything. And I saw it. <laughs> all right. I saw it all. I've seen everything. You, you see a bunch of stuff that's not important that I won't draw attention to, like, you know, just crates and, and, and uh, barrels and things. The things that catch your eye with your perception are a series of um, black onyx statuettes of various animals across one of the shelves. Okay. Uh, you see that in a corner underneath the, this shelf over there is like a dog, ca uh, dog cage, like a huge dog cage, and in that is an elven child. Oh, um, Jesus. Oh, that's right. Dark. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty dark. Um, you also see that there is a... I forgot about that. <laughs> as he, yeah, as he walks... Oh, yeah, this oh, family yeah, of people. human trafficking. Whoops. Um, th he wanders down the front and up onto this little ramp up here and you can see that in that far corner closest to Rowan uh, that seems to be a tool shed slash weapon room there is a okay. bunch of weapon racks weapon. and things oh, here or in, here there, or here? in that little room in the corner yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he pokes his head in that yeah. little bit and sees a bunch of tools, a bunch of um, uh, equipment and mm -hmm. a bunch of weapons as well and then out of there and into this one over here 
it's kind of like a janitor's closet, kind of like a cleaning closet. There's a sink in there. There's a couple other things. Okay, not a point. Um, are there any people in this warehouse? Uh, not currently. No. Apart from slaves, obviously. Not currently. <laughs> yeah, from slaves who don't care. <laughs> <laughs> there's 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 I'm thinking. Well, I want to enter this way because there's people over there. Yeah, so yeah. let's have a little scout here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just seeing if I've forgotten anything. I don't believe I've forgotten anything. Uh, that's that's with a 25. That's everything of note that you have. Um, Eventually, he spent like a good 10 minutes, at least 15 minutes of like wandering around <coughs> doing all this stuff to mm. make sure he's checked everything out. Yep. Now, can I just make a make a quick uh, observation? Are these to outside or are these? Those are to the outside, yeah. Those are the we haven't, side we side haven't found spots for gold in yeah. the other can, two can, buildings. I, I want to just, just a quick observation, a little hypothesis here. If we, in theory, just kind of found a way to just dump it all just anywhere, What's the romance? What, what's wrong with that? If you they then will, they will go like, what the f? How did this but, but they'll probably go, huh? What, they're not. They're not gonna immediately. You, what if these gonna, people <laughs> will go like, what the f is all this? And they'll get rid of it. Or they'll what if we hide, hide it, it in a barrel or something? Are they that smart? Gonna, they're, they're gonna, but then if we hide in a barrel, it will look planted to the authorities. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Like uh, the main, okay, the main okay. thing is that then you tip off the authorities. The authorities come and raid the building. They see a bunch of stuff Random. that's been just stolen, just like anything, and they go. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't okay. think this, this is how the custodians yeah, were stored. They wouldn't just put Something 10,000 gold like steel the detectives, drugs. I think like my, the, my point is the, it's just the custodians' guards. word against. Or, I feel like they would, though, if they stole them all in one. Th in the, one san the sanguine guards, like the co cops essentially, would turn up and be like, Yo, bad guy, yeah, see, you've got evidence, and they'll arrest them. But, like, detectives will go, Something feels wrong here. Okay, Something okay, feels okay, fishy, yeah. and they'll look okay. into it. Okay. And right, right. I mean, if you I'll, say I'll, so, I'll drop it. I'll drop it. And Rob's the one that's saying so. I am giving you the challenge that you need to plant these things in the right Let's see what the detectives say. All right, continue, continue. All right. We need to search the rest of the place. Okay. So what's oh wait, there's something through this room. Uh, these these are all side doors to the outside. Oh, sorry, this okay. is the so entirety this is the of building. the warehouse so, building. So, so far, weapons. Yeah. What else? Sorry. Slave child. Slave child. Yep. That's um, it. Really. You, I'll, I'll say that you also find ominous like, onyx statues. Yep. You also those also caught your attention. Um, and we you, can't do a spell casting check through his eyes, can not we? Through him. Damn. Okay, so that's the only real concrete thing is weapons. Okay. Uh, you'll you'll find that the Erringal steel would go in this warehouse as well. Go. Cool. This steel okay. ingots. I'm gonna write this down because yeah, this yeah. will be important shortly. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think this mech's been placed down here for any particular reason. No, no, Go. No, no, no. With all of the crates and barrels and sacks and things, the food and wine might fit in here as well. Yeah, yeah. The food, wine, the spices and the, the whiskey and stuff might be okay. in here. Let's, we, you we, might we, have to check what's in the barrels and things once yep. you get in there to see if any of it's alcohol or whatever. Cool. 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 Uh, he is getting out of the place, but all the doors are closed still. So what's he doing? Same way to get out, I guess. He explodes. <laughs> no, uh, that's a good question. Actually, I reckon make, just an, make an intelligence check for me as Bob. <laughs> One, a million, sixteen, <laughs> zero. <laughs> so sixteen. You think about her. He explodes, and then you go, "Oh, I can." And then you yeah. can dismiss him wherever you want, and then re re reappear yeah. him next year. So you can just get him out of there if you want. Yeah, yeah, I, I genuinely well, was thinking. There, there, <laughs> there, there, there are other other places. Yeah, yeah. For yeah but he can just but I bring can him just out go and send him back in again. For, for experience, can we just kind of go? What's it kind of just? He explores everything. So we know there are dangers to, get him into to the other doing buildings. so because yeah, of stealth checks and stuff. Stealth stealth there is a chance right, that I'm people find I'm just aware that this is kind of like yep. Pause that part. Cool. He. Yeah, pause that part. It was. It. The, yeah, because yeah. he rolled it, well it could on stealth. could turn out poorly though. He rolled well on stealth until he wasn't seen. Yeah, if I had got a net one on stealth, they would have heard him and <laughs> squished him or something. Right. Um, okay, so I do go. Um, oh fuck! It. And I get him to look around. I'm like, oh fuck it. Sorry, what's it? And he goes. <laughs> <laughs> a little puddle of viscera just goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, so he was invisible. Oh, wait, and then we, suddenly out so of the rewind. Yeah. He goes, Can we do it in a corner or something? So then yeah. I just find a puddle of viscera. All right, what's it? It's time for you to go away. And you know what that means? Yes, a very horrible, painful death. It's the only whoa, way. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to kill him. Yes, I do. I don't want him here. No, you just magically make him disappear, you idiot. He goes into a pocket dimension or something. What are you talking about? He's not magic, he's a real thing. He is actual magic. It's like Find Familiar. He just goes away and you can summon him in somewhere else. Look, I think I know my own demon child, all right? Now, what's it? Are you ready? What? Okay, no, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, sorry! Oh, god. I'm sorry, son! Oh. I'm sorry! Oh, god! Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god.
Canelli won't die. Oh, just God, Bob. Ugh. You want to have a go? Bob, I'm still alive. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. You gotta wait till he sees brains. You're a horrible monster. And he's a horrible monster. He is a horrible little monster, isn't he? I thought he just disappeared into a pocket dimension, but you're Wait, saying he dies rewind, and it's rewind the thing we can always do. <laughs> what? Rewind. The second the, 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 <laughs> it's a thing when it hasn't quite officially... Yeah, when it hasn't there's officially... Little, yeah, yeah. There's this little grey area. So where it's like when you yeah, send an right. email yeah, and it gives yeah. you that 30 second window where you can just... Now, undo, undo, what does he look like what, what, when he just explodes? I'm just like, worried about Viscera being yeah, on the right, yeah, hey, I go, alright, alright, what's it? Um, Can you just... Go behind that crate and check what's behind that crate well, for no, a second. Well, no, just said he goes into a pocket He doesn't have to explode. No, Ben. <laughs> no. Bob, Ben. He's my demon, son. <laughs> okay. Continue. Just walk him into the fireplace. I, 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 I admire the, 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 the... Oh, wait, come out the chimney. Come out the chimney. Is he going to do yeah. it? Could, could. Yeah, and he's a demon, so he's like fire and vulnerable. I think uh, so. Uh, the chimney. Sure. <laughs> so <laughs> he, I go, all right. <laughs> and I'm about to explode and I go, wait. It's your lucky day, Watson. Because he knew what was happening. Brother, <laughs> <laughs> please. Please don't. It hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so much, Father. It's Shut up. Pain. <laughs> I'm like, all right, run into the fire. Yeah. Okay, that's better. And run up the chimney. Uh, one more stealth check as he re-enters the room with people in it. Please. He has advantage because he's invisible. Six. 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 Six, six, six pluses six plus dexterity. Three. All right, so with a nine... That is not enough to beat their passive perception. As he dies, he goes, uh, the, 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 the Selwyn family send their regards. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to... I just love the visual of thin air, and then just... And it's like, you're seeing, just met, like... You're seeing, <laughs> like blood you're seeing through his eyes. Like, what is that? You're what seeing through that? his yeah. eyes as he, as he scampers across the, uh, the, the tiles of this tavern. Um, and out the co- out the peripheral of his eyes, you're pretty sure that you see somebody at the bar turn and look in his direction because of the sound he's making. Yeah. Um, and then so there's kind of a movement of the flames yeah. as he jumps onto the coals uh, and then scampers up the chimney and out the top. Finds a grate at the top. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, father, I can sit. No. <laughs> I can still find a way. <laughs> suddenly the, the flames are... Did so it, oh, what is did that? Did or us notice that he got noticed? Uh, he noticed that. Yeah, he I, noticed. I, I reckon w- you should send him back down just to see what they're doing because if they're walking in there, we're a little bit. Yeah, fine. So he just pops his head back out <laughs> yeah. to see what they're doing. Fine. You He's all diligent <laughs> and shit. You know, so just to, re- the re- re- to recap, you could have just made him where he was just disappear, and and, and we, we could move on. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Storytelling. But I'm having fun playing around with what's it. Yeah. <laughs> you're having fun playing D&D, that's what it's all about. Right. Uh, so you, you describe what's just out. Oh, I think he got noticed. Yeah. Uh, and so and Watson comes goes, back down the let, chimney. Let's be sticks some, his head out the bottom of the chimney. And sees that they're just like investigating the bottom of the chairs and things. They, they obviously heard a rat of some kind, they yeah, think, yeah. and they're just like looking for it. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's an um, issue of, of any kind. Right. Yeah, okay, continue. Yeah. Okay, so he crawls back up out the chimney. Oh, speaking of rats, I should have mentioned with a 25 uh, perception before, you, you did see that there are vermin in the warehouse as well, yeah, just right. small cool. mice and rats and things. So cool. you could have exploded them. Sure. Um, so, yeah. out the chimney, he starts to investigate the rest. He sees that uh, the annexed building is about 60 feet wide, about 25 feet deep and 20 feet tall, mostly made of corrugated Erangel uh, um, steel. And uh, there is a window and a door to this one. He, the door is closed and he scrabbles up onto the window ledge, invisible, and looks in and sees that there is a woman behind a desk in there. It's decorated very much like an office. Uh, desk, chair, cabinets, minor decoration around the place. Um, carpet. Is that simple, the entire building? Safe, simple stuff. That's the entire building. There's only any one safe? room to it. Hmm? Can you do not safe? see any safes okay. in there. And then there's one more building? Uh, and then there is one smaller building that was more permanent. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to that. It doesn't sound like that. there's anything in that one. Off of that one, uh, he wanders over to the smaller building. Um, make a perception check through his eyes as you get closer. 19 plus 10, 29. All right. You can uh, see through his eyes and hear through his ears, right? I sure. think. I think you can sense all of his senses while Definitely. you're within him. Um, as you're getting closer, you can hear the sounds of animals in this building. Um, mm. Dingoes, it sounds like. Bloody dingoes. Dingos. 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 Are there any babies in there? <laughs> you, I mean, you can, you, can, you can get closer and see if Lol. the dingoes are eating a baby. Right. Okay. No, um, no, so no, get closer. The dingoes so stole some babies. Stole some babies. And the babies I thought his dingoes ate my babies. See if you can look through a window or anything. No windows in this particular one, but he can tell that it's a kennel of sorts. Okay, sweet. Right. 
So we. All right. So this I is the only one building of any <laughs> real significance. You can also tell with the 29 that not only can you hear the sounds of dingoes, but they are getting more frantic as you're getting closer. It seems like they have smelt him. Right, right, right. And and they are all right, all right, alert. pull back, pull back. What's a pull back? I can as smell he starts you, to pull back, the door opens, and you see a, an <laughs> elven woman come to the door. Um, she's looking out. She's definitely like the dog trainer, essentially, of these dingoes. Yeah, right. um, dimension um, And she is... Looking around to be like they they usually like this when there's an intruder or yeah, something. Right, right, She's right. looking for him, but obviously doesn't yeah. see him. Unless it just freezes. <laughs> and and what, they can't you see. Go, did you see a shed full of dingoes? Is that it? Right? Well, <laughs> that, that shed's dingo. <laughs> not bad, guys. No, you not said that, bad. Up, didn't you? you not, did. thank you. Not bad. Very <laughs> good, actually. What 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 can you see? Uh, it's a big warehouse. Okay, the warehouse uh, good. Uh, Will uh, he'll need to go into that. There's some guards. Guards, okay. Uh, Radio. There's an office. Office, okay. Oh, we'll have to big, check that. There's a big shed full of full of dogs, full of dingoes, I think. A shed full of dingoes. Yeah. What's that? What, what, what's that? What's, what's there's, a, there's a big, there's a big like kennel or, or a shed. It's full of dingoes. Oh. I, so I, I guess you could say that sheds dingo. What do you? Well, I guess yes. You yeah, can't I mean, mean the shed is the dingo got dingoes correct. in it. So, so, yeah, so that so that sheds dingo. What do you mean by that? Is Roger? that a reference I'm not getting? Like, what's going on? What's, uh, is, a is that something that you've I, seen on a cool T-shirt yeah, or something? I'm just saying that sheds dingo. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, that would be a cool. That would be a cool T-shirt, Bodger. I suppose it would be. You'd have a dingo on it. <laughs> Look at how happy he is. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll give it. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay, all right. That's, that's a good one. That's pretty good. That sheds dingo. That sheds dingo. Very good. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give yeah. you a hero point. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, is that? Is, Inspiration? I think yeah. we win the game. Yeah, inspiration. I think we win. No, yeah, one hero point wins the game. When you won D and D. I've um, already got so inspiration. That is everything to. <laughs> so we <laughs> need to, to be start honest, using. This has not been. I mean, it's been reasonably useful, but we haven't found where the gold and drugs drugs go. And yeah, there's a. Uh, all of the buildings that you can see as what's it maybe right behind the bar. It could be that I, I quickly just turn to Fib and be like do they have other bases of operations have we not nah, found they, they definitely said like I was they were very clear um, that this where, is where, where, where on earth would they be keeping there golden drugs there might be trap and stuff in there maybe that what's it well, yeah, that what's it can't maybe. or we might need to go in and go <laughs> we might need to yeah crack up we also might <laughs> I have to I my I see to do that but just sees the rest of you doing like magic things and goes but, uh, I see, I, look, guys, I see what you guys are doing. It's not that hard. But, uh, <laughs> um, or Rob was saying we might need to crack up in some things that could just be in crates that we need to check out. Yeah. Okay. So I think but the gold, the gold might be in the office. Maybe yeah. I don't know. So don't far, know. all the, the only thing that seems concrete is weapons go here. Weapons and then probably crates some and random some stuff, stuff in here. In just there. kind of place it around. Oh, uh, weapons and then steel was in there as well. Steel. What yeah. we and, and steel maybe and food and wine, but you we have still have barrels and stuff. Um, I'll say as well. Uh, what's it didn't go downstairs in the, oh, um, yeah. in the bar, so we can. He goes back into the place. Yeah. Okay. Finds, knocks on the door again. Goes um, like what the fuck is going? <laughs> This time, they're, baby, this time they're baby. listening out for rat, ratty scrabblings and stuff. So make another uh, stealth check with disadvantage. Uh, with advantage again, because yeah, rolls are bad. Oh, again, in case it's a, a crit. Bad rolls, man. Not bad, not bad. bad. For um, what's it? Yeah. Three. What's it? Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Sweet. Nineteen plus stuff for, for what's it? Stealth three, is fine. Um, actually, no. Nope, one of them got a nineteen plus their modifier, so they um, they're probably going to see you. What's uh, what's its stealth modifier? Uh, three. Because that's Dex, right? Yeah, dexterity based. Um, oh, st skills stealth plus five. There you go. So he's got a twenty-four. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's okay. that what's it has. Yeah, what's it has um, stealth plus five. They definitely hear him, but then, but because their perception was very close to that, but not enough to pinpoint his exact location. They hear him come in, and you hear through his ears somebody go, "Are the rest?" <laughs> Sorry, no, not Cockney. Uh, Australia, mate. Australian, <laughs> yeah. Are these bloody rats turning invisible now? Something. <laughs> They're all those triggered NPCs being. being ah, what's that in? 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 What's that in, mate? Australia. 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 What's, Australia. What's, Australia. 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 what's that in? Oh, what's that in? Oh, what's that in? Oh, what's that in? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, stress. Some of the bloody cries. Australian, mate. These bloody vermin turning invisible. It's bloody. Yeah, we're gonna get those ones now. We get invisible cats. Um. They definitely are aware of something invisible, <coughs> and that might increase chances that they'll put some sort of uh, 
some sort of safety nets in place to deal with invisible creatures. Um, but for now, at least, he heads down the uh, stairs and he can see that there is a lab downstairs. It is a laboratory. Drugs. drugs. It is downstairs. a laboratory and a tinkering workshop in one. <coughs> as they're, as they're drugs. Uh, I mean, he looks around the place. It's pretty big. It's about 60 feet by 60 feet. Same as one of these maps, coincidentally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. What a weird coincidence. Uh, and he... It's, it's good this entire world is made of grids. Yeah, just everything really is helpful. in exact, perfect yeah. right, yeah. right yeah. angles. <laughs> it's great, it naturally grows. Um, he sees that there are two people in there uh, currently tinkering away. One person's uh, a gnome with like some big like tinkering goggles on with like... Yeah. Uh, looking at things real close, tinkering with something metal. Uh, the other person is a an alchemist doing some potions brewing stuff with all these weird spirally flasks and things. Um, definitely would be a place that you would put drugs probably. You can't see any right now, but blackish sludge, sludge and greyish stuff. And, Happy days. And so it's literally just the gold that we're missing currently as to where to put that. Mm. Um, so either behind the bar or the, more, like <coughs> the office. Hopefully a crate. He also a crate. Uh, can tell down in this lab that um, actually make a make an investigation check using Bob's investigation. Seventeen. Nice. And a roll for You're this. doing well. This is better than fucking, this is better than old mate's treehouse. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Anything. Really than <laughs> yeah. Old just just existing. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen plus four twenty one. Nice. All right. Jeez. You get indication. Everything's coming up, Bob. You get indication until it matters. Well, until until <laughs> it actually starts. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is just the scouting. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm usually gonna scout start perfectly, and then I'm just going to burst through the doors, <laughs> trip over, fall on my own sword, bleed to death. <laughs> and that's the end of Bob. There are, there are small hints Sandra around. Sandra pops up out of a crate. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> they were smuggling me. Yeah. I asked for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> There are small indications around the lab that it was ransacked a few months ago, and it's been, and they're in the process of rebuilding it. Um, okay. That it was potentially destroyed or broken up. Like you can see that there's like a big crate of just like broken um, lab equipment and stuff, and and there's not that many Bunsen burners and beakers and things around the place. They're rebuilding and reusing. Does that, does that mean and that beakers, finished drugs there might still be suspicious? Yeah, potentially. All right. Okay. That's all you're going to get from his little scouting mission. So, bam, from back to you. And this is where I'm going to mix things up a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially turn this into a reverse heist because you're going in to plant things rather than steal things. It's basically a heist mission, but in reverse. And how I like to run heists is. Can uh, we edit this like Ben's like robber thing and <laughs> yeah, board? I knew, like, I, I, knew so I had, I knew to, I had to get the drugs and the <laughs> gold and the weapons in there. This exactly. is how we had to do it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's pretty much how I like to run heists because you don't watch a heist movie and like see them prepping, 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 and then doing the thing. You just see them doing the thing, and then they have flashbacks to how they prepped for it. Right. Yeah, so what right. you're going to do is each individual you're going to tell me how you prepared for your reverse heist. One thing you did, you can roll a one relevant skill check. Based on your skill check, you get um, a number of heist tokens, which you can then use when you come up against the challenge. You can then use that to flash back to how did you prepare for this particular cool. challenge. So, I knew that they were going to XXX, yeah. so I knew that I needed to XXYZ. Okay. Okay. Bodgers is so just going to be like, I knew they'd die by my axe. So I bet I saw a short <laughs> ring. So, <laughs> bump, bump. Because of the mushrooms. <laughs> Have you noticed that we're upping our production quality every single month at the moment? I mean, look at these two freaking awesome costumes. And where does that money come from? It comes from our awesome patrons over on Patreon. If you want to give us a little bit of money each month, it goes towards making awesome videos like this one and all the ones on the main channel. Check it out. You'll also get behind the scenes and bloopers and a bunch of other cool stuff.